Hi, my name is Alex and today I'm gonna show you how to draw a cartoon rose using GIMP. So let's go ahead and start by creating a new layer and we are gonna draw the guidelines here. Take the ellipse select tool, draw a big circle and then stroke it. Then take the brush tool and draw a couple of guidelines here. Then draw another circle in the middle of the first one. Now I'm gonna create a new layer for the outlines. And make sure you lower the opacity of the first layer with the guidelines. I'm going to start off by creating a spiral in the middle of the smaller circle. Take the brush tool, enable the smooth stroke option, increase the quality and weight values and draw a spiral. Something like this. Then go grab the pass tool and draw the petals. First draw a pair of petals facing outwards along the horizontal line. Make sure there is a little overlap between the two petals. Then go over to the vertical line and draw another pair of petals. To draw a petal I start with a triangle and then curve it out by adding more points to the curve. Finally add one more pair of petals along the horizontal line. Then go to the menu and stroke the paths. Now I'm gonna draw a couple of leaves here sticking outwards. Do some adjustments to get the shape you want and then stroke the path. Next I'm gonna add a new layer for coloring. I'm gonna use the fuzzy select tool with a high threshold value to select parts that I wanna fill in with color. Select the petals, change the foreground and the background colors to lighter and darker red. Take the blend tool and fill them in with a red gradient. Uh, next select the leaves, uh, change the colors to light and dark green and fill them in with a green gradient. Next we're gonna need a new layer for shading. I'm gonna take the path tool and isolate some areas for darkening. I kind of imagine a light source in the upper left corner and try to add shaded areas on the opposite side of the spiral. Then add a shadow from the petal and then shade uh, the leaves. Next, do path to selection, take the bucket fill tool and fill it in with black. Make sure to lower the opacity of the layer. Next, I'm gonna add a new layer for highlighting. I'm gonna add a few highlights on the petal and on the leaves, kind of close to the light source. Then do path to selection and fill it in with white. Lower the opacity. Well, we are done with the rows here and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you may also want to check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.